Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be another chatty get ready with me. It's kind of like what I did yesterday, but different. Today, instead of talking about the murder mystery stuff, I really want to talk about some weird stuff going on in the beauty community and, you know, kind of talk about it. I have my phone positioned somewhere different and I'm afraid it's going to fall, so hopefully I don't have to re-record this because I actually do have somewhere I have to go today. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. So, the one thing I really want to talk about, I'll talk about later, but I'm going to go ahead and start with like the Jacqueline Hill drama. Um, so, I have never really been a giant fan of Jacqueline Hill, I'm not going to lie, I'm not subscribed to her YouTube channel, and I haven't really seen that many of her videos, to be completely honest. I just really wasn't into her. You know, back when I first started watching YouTube, I was really more into, like, Catherine Lights and Hot Tea. So I just didn't support her collabs as much as I would have had it been, like, a Catherine Lights collab. And the, to this day, the only thing that I actually own of Jacqueline that she collabed on is the Vault Collection. The eyeshadow palettes, the four little mini eyeshadow palettes, and I don't have the original Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't plan to get the original Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't plan to get the new Jaclyn Hill palette either because she is really surrounded in like drama and stuff like that. I don't even have Champagne Pop, and I would love to have Champagne Pop and Pixel Pop because that actually is my skin tone color, like a uh, highlight I would actually probably really like on my skin, but it's warm expensive. And two, I'm just not really that into Jacqueline, to be completely honest, but just because you're not into the YouTuber doesn't mean you can't, you know, grab their collabs and stuff like that. You know, obviously I did support her a little bit with the, the vault collection, but at the time I just wanted to see, like, what was up. I didn't do a video, because I don't think I had a YouTube channel at the time, but my vaults worked okay for me, I'm not going to lie, they weren't, they weren't the best, but they worked okay, I mean okay enough for me to justify the $40 that I spent on all of them, but they did work okay, they weren't the best, and I still to this day will not buy the Jackson palettes. I probably won't buy anything from her makeup line, I'm not going to lie, even though I am addicted to highlighters, I love highlighters, I just, I can't see myself supporting her, to be completely honest, and it's not like a, oh, it's a drama thing, I just personally don't like the drama, and the collab that I did buy wasn't necessary the best, whereas, like, the first Catherine Lights collab that I think I ever purchased, let me think, was, like, it was a Valentine's Day one, I think, about last year. I think it was the Valentine's Day collection. It had a lot of pinks and reds in it. I still have those. I really like those, and I still will buy her stuff to this day because I'm really into like Zodiac things and she's really into it and her collabs are actually, a lot of them are based off of like Zodiac stuff which is really cool. I have her Zodiac palette, I have her Zodiac pigments, those things are gorgeous. Uh, I have the So Jaded palette, my boyfriend bought that for me back when it first came out. I have a few other palettes that I think she made with ColourPop that I really, really, really like. I just don't support YouTubers that don't support other YouTubers, I guess. Like with the Marlene Estelle thing, I think that that situation probably could have been handled a little bit differently. Um, I'm using Secret Garden Rendezvous to do my eyes. And I'm just going to use my finger to apply this because I do have a doctor's appointment today after drinking. I don't want to look too. 
too too crazy. But yeah, I just don't really, I don't know. I just don't have an opinion on it because I just don't really choose to support the collabs that she does just because there's always something wrong, it seems like. Like, I think Jackie Eisen actually said that she doesn't support other YouTubers or that she doesn't support her or something like that. And It's, it's, a, it's a really weird situation, but I just didn't have the best experience with the vault collection that I ended up purchasing, and that kind of swayed me to just say, no, I'm not going to really purchase anything. And to be completely honest, I haven't really purchased anything really from Morphe. I don't have their foundation. I don't have their concealer, their powders, their primers. I mean, I would love to do like a review on my YouTube channel with those, and that's about it. But as far as like me reaching, you know, this isn't one of my, this is one of my rotated like foundations. It's one of my most used ones. It's the Joa Truly Yours Natural Finish Foundation Drop, and it's the shade Porcelain. And I really like this foundation. It's actually one that stays in my routine. It's kind of rotates with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus, my Maybelline Fit Me, Matte and Poreless, and my L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Foundations. I just named my favorite foundations. Those are definitely my top favorites, the ones that I reach for probably the most, I would say. I definitely haven't purchased any more Morphe since that, though so my uh, my best friend actually is really really into Morphe. Like she's really really into Morphe. So she supports like Morphe and Jaclyn Hill and stuff like that. But I don't know. I just if I don't really like company, I don't think I really can justify my, to myself purchasing it because my boyfriend and I are trying to save up some money so I'm literally trying to like justify whatever it is that I purchase. I actually did an Ulta purchase just yesterday. I bought four things and spent like $60. My boyfriend cried a little inside. You could tell because I bought four things for $60. And I probably will do an Ulta haul, like a little small one, whenever I get that box. I guess that I really, about the Jaclyn Hill stuff is like, I don't know, I don't know if she knew about that formula change or not, that was really crazy. I mean, it's still a good looking palette, like it's still like in, on Jen Love's reviews, on her video, it still looks like a decent palette. But it's not like the same, so it would have to be like a, here is the Jaclyn Hill original Morphe palette. 2020 version with the formula change now. This is the review because it's obviously different. It's obviously a different palette, but it still does look like a good palette. It's just different. And I actually have been having like late night conversations with my mother just talking to her because I love my mother. She is super, super amazing. Definitely my best friend. Um, and I just, I've always had like late night 
conversations with my mom. That's weird. Probably a girl thing, but that's just me for me personally. Um, so I was having some late night conversations with my mom, and my mom always gets first dibs to my makeup collection whenever I declutter something or when I get a boxy charm and I don't want something. Update on that, I decided to just go ahead and cancel my boxy charm because my boyfriend and I are not in the position to where we can afford the $25 to $35 a month subscription. I'll probably end up getting it back in a couple of months. It's just right now it's a little we're a little like chaotic with like the things that we need to buy and we need to be saving up money for a new apartment and a new car. So yeah. We I just kinda like came to the conclusion that the makeup isn't important. I actually I did buy some makeup from Ulta yesterday. I bought like one thing of makeup. Yeah, like one thing of makeup and that was it. The rest was like skincare related and a replacement to something I lost that I needed to replace in my actual like routine, so it's something I'll use every day. But back to because that is gonna be a video for another day. Back to back to my initial video and that is about the Jacqueline Hill stuff. Um I don't think she knew about the formula change but talking to my mother I've talked to my mother about both the subjects that I want to talk about today and explain to my mother because my mother actually does not wear a lot of makeup. She only wears like eyeliner and like a blush. I think that's I think that's it. I think I've said that before, but she wears like a hundred dollar Chanel perfume. It's crazy. But that's my mother's. Um, so I was explaining it to her about like why people are so mad about the formula change. You really have to understand that there is this thing as an allergy to Carmine, and my mom actually didn't know that Carmine was made from beetles. And so I was explaining it to her about how it was they were made, that the pigments were made, and why, like, you know, some of the palettes that I get are going to say, not eye safe, because technically if it's vegan and not tested on animals, and it doesn't have carmine in it, it's going to be a dye, typically, and the dye is going to... It could, it has the potential to dye your eyes, to stain your eyes and stay on your eyes for a few days. Which basically just means don't wear makeup for the next couple of days because you'll probably hurt yourself. You, you can probably hurt yourself. So basically I was explaining some of this stuff to my mother just because, like I said, I love her and she is amazing. And she actually was kind of like, ew, that's so gross. Why would anybody, any company, use Carmine, especially if we have an alternative to that type of thing? Even if it's not like technically I safe, it's, it's I safe. Like, we can take a Jeffree Star palette and look at the quality of that. And then look at the quality of the new Jaclyn Hill palette. And you'll see a difference because his, he does not use Carmine well, well, whereas the new one, I can't talk today, whereas the new one does have Carmine in it, unfortunately. Which is really sad because I love animals, I love all types of animals, even though I don't I'm not like cruelty free. I really want to get into it. I want to get into like being more organic and more healthy. There's another reason I want to do that. So I just I want to set good examples. Be a good person. I think that's everybody's goal in life, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, so I was explaining it to my mother and just her reaction to like the carmine and the changing of the formulas. Like if you're a company who has a the same thing with like Divacro. If you are a company that has a good selling product and you change the formula or alter the formula in any way, you should make a statement about it. You really, really should. You should make a statement about it. Just because what happens if somebody who is allergic to carmine has an allergic reaction to it? You know? So, altogether, it's just really. It's not even a difficult situation. It's just more or less about like, did Jacqueline Hill know? I cannot answer that. I would probably say no, just from like a legal standpoint. I don't think, unless, like, she has, like, a severely close relationship with Morphe, only then would I say, like, okay, yeah, maybe, maybe they informed her in passing about it, but if they didn't have, like, some, like, a type of a conversation like that, I don't feel like legally they would inform her, but ultimately, I saw a video, I think Angelica, I can't remember the name, it's like Angelica something. She had done on the, on the topic. And she said, you know, no matter what, it is her product, her name is on it at the end of the day. It is technically her name that's going to get ruined. Which, I mean, if Jacqueline had, let's just be completely honest, her name's not getting ruined. Because no matter what, she's still going to have her subscribers, she's still going to get paid, people are still going to buy her products, just because even if you're a problematic person, you know, you're still, like, famous, and, oh, it's Jacqueline Hill, I have to have the full collection of everything that she releases, yay! It's just, like, something like that, I would say, at least. But, you know, we just, we just don't know. I guess we won't know until, like, her next next launch, I guess. Her next launch after this. I was kind of, like, after the vault, not going to lie. I was done with the whole, like, collab with YouTubers and shit like that. I was just done with it. I was like, I'm over it. I only will buy the things that intrigue me, not the things that somebody's name is on. Like, I love Chalky. I don't own the Blendiful. I don't own her palette because I can't afford it. But Kathleen Light will make, like, a collaboration with Colourpop and I'll be, you know, waiting for it to drop that day. It's just about price point. It's about price point. And really, how into that YouTuber you are. Like, I'm very into Tati. I love Tati. I watch Tati, uh, a Tati video at least once a day, I would say. Even if it's not like a brand, 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 brand new video, I just like to watch videos. I like to watch some of her old videos as well. Her WTS videos were actually really funny. I wish that those would come back. Because they were really funny. But it's kind of like, that's a ridiculous amount. <laughs> To spend on product, what is that company thinking? What are you thinking? Buying it. But in the end, I liked the message that WTF was sent, and the message was that, yeah, it's a good product, but you can probably get it just a, a just as good product from Ulta or even Sephora because cheaper at Sephora, or cheaper at Sephora.
but yeah, that's where I stand on the Jaclyn Hill stuff. I actually personally, just because of my legal training, I think that it depends on how close their friendship was with Morphe. For them to have told her, I don't actually think that they did tell her. But then again, it's hard to tell like if somebody is lying on a YouTube video, so I guess really anything's possible, but I don't feel like they had told her about it, about the formula change. I don't feel like they had told her. But, I don't know. Just let me know what you guys think of that situation down below. And let's go ahead and get into the next topic, which is going to be a little, a little different. And that is going to be the topic of Michelle Gray. Oh, I'm super excited for this. Yay! I'm trying to find the brush I'm looking for. Alright, so Michelle Grace is a YouTuber. Um, from what I can gather, I've watched a lot on this topic. She is not in the beauty community. She actually does more videos on witchcraft. I'm not into that type of stuff, so I don't really watch that kind of thing. I'm I'm not really into it. I don't know. I feel like I have enough beard following me around. I don't need to add on to it. So basically, What ended up happening was the video had said, it was a video of her, she had, had a child hysterically crying in the background, which I'm just going to say, I've never, ever heard Emma scream that loud, and Emma doesn't really get pops, but she does cry. She gets more time out than anything, to be completely honest. But, you know, she knows that timeout means, like, you're in trouble. So, you say, okay, if you won't do this, then you're going to go to timeout. She starts to cry. But, this child is just, like, hysterically, like, my type of crying is like something between me and Brandon happens, like that type of a crying, like hysterically crying. I don't personally feel like I would make a YouTube video on my child personally crying like that and saying, oh, I hit her for, you know, destroying my palette. One of the stories that she had said in one of in her video really concerned me. She's talking about how her daughter can get her hands on Windex and she destroyed her palate. So get the damn about your palate. Like your daughter could show up and drink that shit. Like and if it's at night and you're sleeping and you're not paying attention to her and you don't notice it until the morning, like who fucking knows what could happen? Like that's really like it's really serious. I wanted to um, bring a point up. I don't have a two and a half year old type of story, even though she says her daughter is two and a half years old. Emma is, is three going on four this year. But when Emma was younger, I did have, I had a lot of makeup and I had a lot of makeup back then too. And I did have like a little eyeshadow palette, like tower. It was, a, it was like palettes stacked on top of each other, like on top of each other. And and I came into my room, and she was following me. She wanted to be with me, so she was following me, which is what children do. And she had knocked over my eyeshadow palette tower, which is literally what I call it, my eyeshadow palette tower. tower.
and I, I got upset, I was like, oh, Emma, really? I didn't hit her, though. I was like, really? Ah, oh, we gotta clean this up now. So I picked it back up, and I'm OCD, I have my pals in a specific order, so that's really what had upset me the most, is that Dan had got to rearrange his stats into that order. But the look on Emma's face was just pure, like, oh, shit, I fucked up. And I still laugh about it to this day, just the look on her face. Like, that just made me happy. It just makes me happy just remembering, like, she knew. But in the end, I didn't hit her. I've never hit Emma. I would never hit her. She could never... I have a temper. She could never get me to the point to where I would hit her. I it just I couldn't do it. I love her so much. And I want her to be a good person. And Emma is very smart, and Michelle Gray says that her daughter is very smart. Well, if your daughter is really smart, then why don't you just talk to her if she's really smart and she understands? and just talk to her. And if she's not listening to you, then you have a discipline problem. I think, personally. And you also need to discover a way to hide your chemicals. I mean, like, my parents just recently, a couple of years ago, started putting the Advil out in the kitchen, and it's still on the shelf where I'm a midget. I can't reach it. So, I ended up having to go get it from somebody else. Still, and I'm, I was 17, 18 at the time when they did that. I really love the new makeup. I really, really love this makeup. I love what tomorrow. It's just really a really, really passionate situation for me because I know a lot of people who are bad moms. I'm not naming their names because I have friends who I personally would do what they do differently. But that's just me. Every parent is different. I showed the clip to my mother, and my mother is a 50-year-old woman with four grown children, you know, three grandkids, well, I'm including the dog, so three grandkids, and even she gets heated about it when she watches it. Like, my mom legit said, she's fucking too, you bitch, when Michelle said, my hand hurts from hitting her so hard. Like, my hand hurts when I hit stains too hard. So I can just imagine how hard you hit that child. Oh, oh, never mind, the math here was okay. I've just been staying up to date on the Michelle Grace thing, because when I was talking to my mother about it when it had happened, I was saying, you know, there has to, this is going around YouTube, there has to be somebody who is with somebody in CPS, or is in CPS, or knows somebody in CPS, or contacted CPS, and they said that, like, I remember her saying, like, she's under investigation, and you really, really, you should be. You should be. Like, you should be. Like, this should scare you enough to never do it again. And then to post the video on YouTube. That's just so, like, so sad. That's so sad, guys. Like, that just, it just blows my mind the things that people will do. Like, I still, to this day, it blows my mind. Nope. What?
You. I'm filming a video. Can you wait like five minutes? really passionate about that type of a situation just because uh, the fact that there is a child involved. You know, I don't ever want to say, oh, I hope this person gets their child taken away. I don't think people should go super duper light on her and say like, oh, you know, maybe you're stressed, here's what you really, really should do, unless like, she is keeping that child, which we really don't know of if there is a CPS investigation. To be completely honest, we really don't know if she's keeping that child or not. It's really hard to say. You know, the state takes children away so much, much less. I might film a video where I don't get interrupted. Honestly, because Brandon would be the one that would interrupt me. <laughs> but he hasn't done so yet, so that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Let me know what you guys think of the Michelle Grace case down below. But do you guys like this hair? I kind of like I'm feeling it. I like it a lot. I like it. I think I do this a lot too. I'm not into that Nana, Nana Kadar look, whatever. I'm, I'm just going to stick with my different colors. So, so just go ahead and let me know what you guys think down below. A lot of people like to put poof with this. I think it's like an Ariana Grande thing. I kind of got it from Kelly Stark. So, I don't know. And it's just really simple and easy. Something really simple and easy to do because I have to go to the doctor today and get off my antibiotics. Yay! Super duper exciting. So this is what the full look looks like. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know your thoughts down below and what you else you want to see. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!